We're live. And in color. All right. Yeah, so this is... I've felt a little strange about this one. I almost considered writing a script, which would I decided against because it would just feel so unnatural. I guess I could have written some, I don't know, loose points or something like that, right? But this is going to be about TV. Total Biscuit, John Bain, rest in peace. Uh, you know, it's it's strange because I've never talked about somebody that's dead on the internet and I don't I don't really know why that feels so strange at this point lots of uh, I mean countless people have talked about countless other people that have died so why is this really any different um and I guess it's just like what can I say that hasn't already been said so I'll just try and be as and I say this every time so far uh, as short and sweet as I possibly can and so you know for me, one of the thank yous that I want to make to him in in post is just to do with, like, the idea of, uh, because you went to school, right, for law, I'm pretty sure, and, and to sink all of that and, uh, you know, and when anybody does this in life, to sink all of that kind of time and money into something and decide at some point, you know, like, I'm not happy with this. This is not what I want to be doing. And I'm going to change track and go over here and do this thing because it's something that I truly enjoy in life is really admirable because it's obviously very much easier said than done. Especially when that kind of, I imagine that kind of time and money commitment has already been made. I don't know what law school is like, but pretty hefty, obviously. Um... So that's, you know, it's it's admirable and an inspiration in and of itself. And, you know, just to have somebody within the games industry, and there's not obviously the only person out there that is like this, but one of the stronger voices. And, you know, maybe I, I haven't been involved in following the games industry forever, but as far as I know, maybe one of the earlier loud voices in terms of consumer advocacy and, and just, you know, understanding some of the legality and, and all of that kind of thing. Uh, and trying to hold companies accountable and that kind of thing, right? And so it's it's just nice. And just having, like, no BS reviews and that sort of thing. Save me, the dude saved me some money, for sure. And gave me some laughs and, uh, you know, through finding, I think I watched a WTF is was probably the first video that I came across because I was searching up some game and I came across that and that led me into like co-optional and all of that. So it opened the door to a whole different, you know, set of content that I never, I mean, I, for all I know, I probably would have come across it, but just it was, it was the opening avenue to all of that. And so I'm thankful for that. Um, and also I want to say thank you to Jenna Bain for keeping up with co-optional because that has become in the last like four years or, or however long, uh, one of the mainstays Tuesday has been one of my days off for somehow through a few different jobs, uh, a couple different jobs for sure. My current one and my last one has been one of my days off for a very long time. So it's a very co-optional is very entrenched into my Tuesday routine and, Obviously, I the one of the first things after I got through my first day of work because I'll I'll talk about that in a second. But you know, one of the first things that I thought of was, oh man, what's going to happen to co-optional? Is it going to continue? Obviously, I understand why and and would be fully on board if it didn't continue. But I would also be lying if I said that I'm not glad that it you know, that it is continuing, and yeah, just thinking about that first day that I found out, I literally, I was starting work, I was minutes away from starting work at 8.30 a.m., uh, sitting in the hallway outside at, at the cafe that I work, Cafe and Roastery, uh, you know, tw grown 27-year-old man, sitting with my, my coffee, yeah, searching Craigslist and a couple other used websites, right? I used listing websites for places because uh, I was still looking for a place at the time. And I see in the Google search bar, 
uh, John Total Biscuit Bane. And of course, you know, in my head, I was like, shit, man, I wonder, you know, is this, is this what I think it is? And of course it was. And so, you know, I'm sitting there, grown young man, how to stall myself from crying yeah, in public because I was about to go and beam sunshine out my ass for eight hours, right? That's what I do. Make people's coffee and, and like joke and smile and laugh and be, be happy and be merry. Uh, and I was like, is that weird? that I am so impacted by the death of somebody that I don't know at all, that I've never spoken to, that I never will speak to. Uh, and I think the, the, the only reason that I felt like it could possibly be weird is because of the not obviously as prevalent as it used to be a stigma about adults in video games. Um, but when people die, it's sad no matter what. Uh, I mean, obviously it's a natural part of life and we're all gonna die one day, but when people die early, especially, it's sad. And when there's somebody that is so familiar to you in your life, I mean, I've never felt weird about being sad when musicians, you know, my, my favorite hip hop artists or, or other musicians have died or just other people in general uh, who are familiar in one way or another. Um, Never felt weird about that. Why would I feel weird about this, right? And and I got over it really quickly, obviously, uh, because that's just stupid. And so that's sort of I'm I'm losing track of it. It's just another thank you to TB and thank you to Jenna. Yeah, um, rest in peace to the former, and you're awesome to the latter. Uh, we love you. And I guess that's just gonna be it. I don't know what else to say. I probably, as always, rambled on about a bunch of shit. Uh, one of these days, I, I downloaded some editing software that I am so... It is such a foreign thing to me. Holy cow. Uh, I figured I would start learning how to use it, though. Because I'm going to need to if I want to keep doing this in, in any form or fashion. So, um, yeah, as per usual, my love to the world from the beautiful west coast of Canada, Van Isle, uh, summer love, peace.